Hello, today I would like to talk about web technology in an easy way. Okay, when was your last time to do the online shopping? Yeah, you buy a lot of things online, right? <laughs> yeah, I know you won't admit it. <laughs> okay, but every day have the online email, right? You check the email or Google search. Those are the web application. Okay. People talk about the design a web page, uh, build up the website, but let's put it very simple. Okay, about the web technology. So basically, we need to have an internet. Okay, internet is like a cloud, and we have our kind of computer, maybe laptop. Maybe your cell phone, okay, or iPod, whatever. But anyhow, you kind of connect it on the internet, wired or wireless. Maybe through the Wi-Fi and through the your ISP provide you the, the internet connection. Maybe 5G, okay, whatever. You already on the internet, okay, and then. You try to uh, connect to a, a famous server we call a web server. Normally, we won't we won't <laughs> understand how you organize the server. We just know oh that's a that's a Amazon that's a Google right okay, and we do search okay, and then somehow when we type in our browser. Our web browser, our web browser, okay, helps to get connected to that server. Okay, how did they achieve this amazing things? Okay, yeah, it's about the network technology, TCP/IP, HTTP protocol. But today we won't talk about that. When they connect to that server. Okay, maybe you visit some particular web page, a web page. Normally, the web page will with a file name something HTML. Okay, this is a small tiny page on their server. The so they will they will send this page back to you. Okay, and your browser. Will retrieve this page and、uh, try to display on it. Maybe oh, this page has a video inside here, some text. Okay, and then you click on the hyperlink. Okay, some of it、uh, maybe have a hyperlink, and then this hyperlink suddenly jump to another another、uh, website. Not necessarily the same website, and then then retrieve back the information back to you. Okay, so that's a hyperlink. Okay, hyperlink is amazing because it allows the information they connected relevant information connected together, even though those information store at a different.、Uh, Uh, remote site. Okay, so that is the simply structure of the、uh, basic understanding. So we use uh, uh, we are our browser experience happen on the client side, and we get the information、uh, which is stored or compute、uh, on the server. Okay, so the client server. Model is very typical. It's one of the important、uh, web information, web architecture. Okay. So when you create、uh, a web page or study to create your website, you may hear people say, "Oh, how do I design a web page?" Okay, which can mean. So a lot of thing. You could simply to design a HTML file. Okay, 
how do you use HTML syntax tag to create the web information statically? Okay, it could mean that how do you beautify this web page? Okay, if that's your case, you may want to have the understanding of what we call a cascading style sheet. Okay, the key information is the style. Okay, sir. If you are more advanced, you have the capability of uh, do the program, write a program to uh, to have uh, interactions or dynamic uh, web content change. Uh, normally, we will have a uh, uh, JavaScript, okay? JavaScript, uh, uh, named by dot js. Okay, I write it down here. But before we uh, deal with from the beginning to the advanced, let's first uh, look at how web content uh, is structured inside the HTML. Okay, this is the most important information today I want to share with you. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.